All right, just breaking the market, turning lower, just a couple points lower right now amid news that North Korea is one step closer to becoming a full-fledged nuclear power. This news coming to us from the Washington Post. The rogue nation has successfully produced a miniature nuclear warhead that can fit inside its missiles. Fox News military analyst General Jack Keen joins me now with more. And General, I'd start by asking you, what does this mean? Help me interpret the Washington Post headline for all of us. What does it mean to our country? Well, first of all, let's, ac let's accept the fact that it's true. We don't know that for a fact, but it's, it's likely true. And it's likely, obviously, our administration is very much aware of this. They've had this knowledge for some time, and it was on the table in their discussions with the Chinese and Russians about the economic sanctions that they were just able to successfully get through the U.N., so credit to them. But w what it means is North Korea has made another step towards nuclearizing ICBMs capable of reaching the United States. The, the Chinese and the North Koreans, I believe, have always made the same calculation based on historical fact that if they nuclearize ICBMs, putting America people at risk, the United States would never conduct regime change in North Korea, and the United States would also, and this is important to understand, accept that reality. In other words, they would acquiesce to that capability, just as the United States acquiesced to North Korea having nuclear capability, and just as they, as, as they acquiesced to China, Trish, mm -hmm. having ICBMs in the 1960s after they acquired atomic bombs. We protested loudly about the Chinese having that capability, and we eventually acquiesced. They have both made the calculation that that's what's going to happen here. Not war, but the United States will accept this reality. And it's based on the behavior, I believe, of the Obama administration in appeasing and accommodating the Iranians and their policy of strategic patience with the North Koreans. I think that has always been the elephant in the room here. Okay, but so, so it's a different problem, administration. Do you think the problem you're going to accept that reality now? I think they're coming to the reality that they cannot. And that is one of the reasons why China signed up for the sanctions. But the sanctions, though comprehensive, though better than anything we've done before, still permits North Korea to have a decent economy because their clothing and textile industry is not touched. China is still going to sell oil to North Korea. Uh, that's the reality of what's taking place there. We're still not there, I believe, in actually capturing China to the point where they will force North Korea to stand down. We are not there yet. General, I'm with you on the sanctions. You know, great. I'm glad that China and Russia signed up, but I, I would point out that a billion dollars, when you're talking about a 20, and it's a small economy, right? Nothing like ours, but it's a $28 billion roughly estimated economy, so a billion dollars isn't that big a hit. Not to mention, as you say, you've got to actually count on the Chinese to enforce the sanctions. and. Lord knows that hasn't worked so well in the past. So, you know, I think it will put in a whole lot of hope into these sanctions. Well, meanwhile, we got a real severe reality going on. And I, I, I'm curious to get your perspective on this. I've heard from some that we're, what, a year, year and a half out from them being to, able to actually really hit us. Well, I, I think that's likely the case. Listen, I don't know for a fact because I don't talk to intel guys about anything like this. I don't want to have that kind of information. So I'm reading newspapers just, just like you are and listening to Fox where you get the best information. But the fact is, uh, yes, they, let's assume they do have a miniaturized nuclear capability and let's assume they test it and they know it works. They still have to get an ICBM to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere successfully. They have not demonstrated that capability. The last one burned up. They also have to be able to hit a target successfully. They wouldn't risk sending an ICBM to the United States with a nuclear warhead without the confidence that it's going to hit what they're shooting at. Mm -hmm. And they also know that Listen, because they're paying attention to our capability more than Americans do, obviously. We can obliterate North, North Korea just using our submarine force alone, much less our own arsenal well, I, of ICBMs. Would it, they, they, it would come to that if they attacked the United States. That's exactly what would happen, General, just as if Russia or China attacked us. Thank you so much. Good to have you here. Quick Good talking to you, Trish. Right